Hi boys and girls. I hope you're all very well and I'm missing you loads. I'm missing all your cheery smiley faces. Today I'm going to read a story for you and I have a bit of a clue. I'm wearing some pointy ears that are orange and I have a clue on my t-shirt as well. I wonder if you know what that story might be about. The book today is The Tiger Who Came to Tea. This is my favourite story. This is my little boy's favourite story as well. We like to read it at bedtime. So we do. Now, the author, the person that wrote all of the words in this story, is called Judith Kerr. And the person that drew the pictures, the illustrator, is Judith Kerr as well. She, drew, she wrote all of the words and she drew all of the pictures. Let's have a look at the front page. Hopefully, you'll be able to see all the pictures. I can move out of the way. Let's see. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Sophie. And she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman, because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer, because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be Daddy, because he's got his key. We'd better open the door and see. I wonder who it could be. Sophie opened the door, and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course. Come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't take just one sandwich. He took all of the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them up in one big mouthful. And he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. But again, the tiger didn't just eat one bun. He ate all of the buns on the dish. Then he ate all of the biscuits, all the cake, until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all of the tea in the teapot. He's a very thirsty tiger. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. Sophie's giving the tiger a cuddle. I don't think I'd like to cuddle a tiger. It might try to eat me. He ate all of the supper that was cooking in the saucepan and all the food in the fridge and all of the packets and tins in the cupboard and he drank all of the milk and all of the orange juice and all daddy's beer and all of the water in the tap. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. And he's left a great big mess as well. And Sophie found that she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drank all of the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats 
and go to a cafe. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. That little cat there looks a bit like a tiger too. Can you see? He's got the same kind of colours, the same kind of stripes. They had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. Sounds lovely. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did. The end. It's a really good story. So it's my favourite. And I'm wondering... If you've been using your listening ears, do you think that you would be able to go back to the, the story and think about all of the different things that the tiger ate in Sophie's house? Do you think you'd be able to remember? I think you could. And I wonder what you would do if a tiger came to your house for tea. What kind of things would you feed him? So it's been really nice to read you this story and I hope you really enjoyed it. And I hope to see you all very, very soon. See you again. Bye.